right, everyone. <laughs> we had some ice cream at Chick Fil A because that's now we go ice cream. that's what my daughter wanted, and it's close by, so I don't mind. So, all right. Okay, so. What? Daddy! What? What do you want? Don't hit my leg, okay? Uh, okay, I won't hit your leg, okay? Alright. Anyways. So much for that. Say bye-bye to Chick-fil-A. Now, I don't have my speedometer. So... I don't think we need to do a speed test on pedal assist one, gear two, and then we can do a pedal assist uh, three, get up to gear seven. Okay. All right, my, my backseat driver. Wonderful day today. Looks like I hit uh, traffic. I hit traffic, so they're all gonna get crazy. Oh well, that's life. All right, so uh, what am I gonna talk about today? As I ride around here. Uh, Good old pedal assist three. Slow. Take my time. And so, uh, so there's not much. There's not much going on since I've been back to uh, from California. I can only say that uh, since the children have no school, I uh, <laughs> I don't get up early in the morning. I sleep in actually, just like the kids. They always, I let them sleep in, and so since they're sleeping in, I sleep in, and I realize something. Even though it's summer school, it doesn't mean I have free time. I still gotta watch the kids. Now my oldest, not a big deal. My youngest, however, someone's always gotta watch her. Someone's always gotta watch her. And so, uh, this lady tried to, was thinking about putting in front of me. So she realized she couldn't, so she had to get up here on the library. Anyways. So, yeah, I'm hitting that time where it's beginning to be like traffic. Like, uh, like, like people are coming home. Even though it's summer for me and everything is, I don't know, slow. Uh, for these other people, man, they're they're in a rush to go home or do something. What is what time is it right now? It's about well, it's almost six o'clock. It's five forty-five. So yeah, people are trying to come home and just get uh take a little bit more risk than they should. Anyways. 
So, even though it's summer and the kids are in school and you think I have more time, I actually don't. I, I have uh, lesser time, I guess. I don't know what to say. But uh, basically, my time is uh, limited by uh, if I could take my young one with me and what, what my youngest child wants to do. And uh, I guess one day I'll have my oldest watch the youngest, but I can't like, I can't really have them watch her all day because she doesn't really feed my youngest child, you know. My youngest is just starting high school, so she's not there yet on fully taking care of uh, our youngest child. And they tend to, they also fight quite a bit, so. Anyways, I'm on, I'm on pedal sys 3, gear 7, and uh, there's no hurry for me. I'm just riding the bike now. So I, I we went to uh, Chick-fil-A and got her some ice cream litter play in the playground. And so now I'm just riding the bike and now we're gonna go ride around. So I kind of have to bribe my, my youngest child or uh, she'll have a fit later on or something, you know? So. Oh. my daily biking exercise I haven't hit the gym in a long time mainly because I'm not taking the kids to school ironically but I'm still using the uh, muscle uh, stimulator Compact Sport Elite muscle stimulator so I've been using that I've also been taking uh, creatine which uh, I guess for my age uh, is is good and beneficial and exercise and not to overdo it on the uh, on uh, on exercising too much because you need time to recover from your activity. So in that regard, I'm just going to uh, you know do whatever I do. I have been noticing improvements. I've been. Ironically, noticing um, weight loss since I've come back from California. So, and uh, I've only been taking creatine for five days. I haven't noticed anything dramatic other than after I take creatine, I notice, I notice maybe, and it could be the honey. I, I do put a little honey, I put it in hot water. I'm going up this hill. I still have four bars of battery. I know I can go faster, but I'm. Um, you know, I'm not because I have my I have the We Ride co-pilot and my youngest child in the back trailing my youngest child. So Hey stop, stop, stop. Stop. My my little co-pilot just likes to uh sway the bike left and right on the co-pilot causing me to sway as well. I tell her to stop. And plus she's putting a lot of pressure. She's putting a lot of pressure on the uh, on the tubing. I uh, if you haven't seen my hack yet, I uh, went to Lowe's, got some extra perforated tubing. I think one and a half and one inch. Something like that, and I was able to extend the uh, the co-pilot tubing so it could uh, won't rub on my fender. So that's what I did. So, anyways, 
it's kind of loose and she shouldn't be like trying to sway the bike left and right so just telling her to stop in any case in any case I'm just gonna route right around the lake uh, up ahead of me here soon go under the tunnel then uh, head back up the same way maybe on the street or on the on the road I'm not sure I'm debating over which which to do but definitely gonna get my son my vitamin D whole point is to uh, increase my testosterone level oh I'm going uh, a little going 20 miles an hour now I don't want to go too fast because sometimes the bike will be the bike will uh, fishtail the co-pilot will fishtail so I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna try to keep it under 20 miles an hour I can tell by the way how fast these people are driving. They're going faster than 35. Some of them are going like 40 miles an hour. Going up an uphill here or an incline. So overall, you know, I, I think getting getting the Rad Power Bike has been overall very beneficial to me. I mean, I'm getting out in the sun and spending time with my child. I even I even uh, rode the bike with my wife. I rode the Rad Rover and she rode the uh, the uh, she rode the the uh, Rad Mini, and you know. Being outside, you get a lot of vitamin D, and for men, vitamin D is important. If you if you can get naturally natural vitamin D, you could, you, your body naturally produces it through the sun. Bye, your body naturally produces it from the sun. Then, uh, I'm gonna, as soon as it's available, I'm going to try to get on the sidewalk on the left side because this is like a single lane two-way street, so I'm going to just take over the left side here. Uh, there's a lot of beneficial effects with uh, vitamin D, if you can. Uh, just be outside. Just getting natural daylight. It also helps with your sleeping pattern. You may actually even get uh, better sleep after being outside in the sun. And so huge benefits and for uh, for an electric bike that's not too bad actually all right here I go get on the sidewalk here all right there we go. So, huge, a lot of great benefits of just being outside on a bike. Um, now, you're probably wondering like, how can I be outside when I'm too busy working or something like that? Uh, and, and you know that's that's the challenge you may uh, you know when you ride a bike you'll have to reevaluate your life goals and what you've been doing so far and, and kind of ask yourself have what I what, what I've been doing so far is that working you know slaving away at a job is that is that is that working my little one's uh, co-piloting now I'm gonna have to grab the handlebar just a little bit tighter while she's uh, doing that. 
So that's something you might want to ask yourself. Let me hear down as well. So that's something you might want to ask yourself. You may have to re reevaluate your 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 life goals and some decisions that you that you've made, and whether it's worth it. Now, putting food on the table is important. Okay, I'm going to say that putting food on the table is important. So, you know, don't go crazy and just abandon everything and and uh, neglect your responsibilities. But at the same time, you have to take care of yourself. You have to make sure that you're going to be okay. Because if you're not going to be okay, then you're not going to take care of anybody. So, I, I say, you know, reevaluate your your situation and ask yourself is it worth it and if the answer is no then you may have to make some life altering decisions and hopefully they'll be good life altering decisions yeah, the... and you know really ask yourself this question like what kind of quality of life are you having and if it's not that great then consider uh, consider, uh, you know, there's just two things you can do, really, is you could increase that quality of life or cut back on, I guess, uh, your expectations. And for some people, you know, they, they're able to increase that quality because they, they have the, the resources to do so. All right, there's, there's no question about it. They have the resources to uh, maintain and increase their, that quality of life. And good for them. I'm happy for them. They, they, they're able to do it. And But, you know, that, that may be something that uh, they, they may not have full control over. That's the thing. Not everybody has full control over that. But everybody has full control, control of their, their expectations. And uh, you can just... You know, depending on what you want to do. Oh, that's too sharp of a turn for me. So I have to cut in through here. And you can do this with the electric bike. I guess it does help with a fat tire, but not necessary. There we go. So you could uh, cut back on your expectations and, and uh, you know, live a more modest life but have the same quality of life, or even better. Uh, having financial resources does not equate to a better quality of life. Is that shocking? Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I never consider myself having an abundance. But uh, there's some things that you can never, you can never uh, pay. Uh, some things you can't pay with you know I'm gonna go down a pedal assist two gear five there's some things you can't pay with money uh, there's just some things you just can't buy and there's some things you can never get back no matter how much money you have so keep that in mind even even the rich die so everybody's equal in that regard And gear. Okay, there we go. Pedal assist two, gear three. Uh, a little bit more work. I'm gonna pedal assist two or gear two. I'm on pedal assist two, but gear two. Uh, going a little bit slower. All right. Whew, not too bad. So I'm just gonna take my time on the sidewalk. Okay, go to. Pedal assist two, gear three, maybe four. There we go, gear four. So here I'll just take the sidewalk. A lot of people are probably headed home. Gotta watch out for anybody making a right turn here. Okay, there we go. That was a nice little ride. It's a different ride with my uh, 
co-pilot because I'm trailing a 25 pound trailer that we ride co-pilot and a 50 pound passenger my backseat driver who tells me who tells me to go faster or slower or just tells me how to how to pedal and ride the bike all the time I am getting a little thirsty let me give him some water I got a I got a new uh, bite valve. The other one I had was like getting gross. It was it was getting like all mildew and everything. Ugh. Oh, stop, bros! Don't do that no more. I hate it. <laughs> I'm trying to drink some oh, wasp in the way here. I'm trying to drink some water. I got one hand on the on the handlebar, and she's like. I, I, I could feel that she's trying to lean the bike, sway the bike left and right. Wow, the water tastes a lot better with the new bite valve. That other bite valve was, oh, it was getting mildew and everything. It was getting gross. No matter what I did with it, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but here's the new bite valve. But, but anyways, the other one was getting mildewy and cloudy. I was like, gross. So I went to Walmart. They have new bite valves, too, for $2 or something. So cheaper than Amazon, quicker, too. And uh, same product, outdoor products their water bladder product. Okay. Oh boy. I'm just taking my time going home now. Uh, try to enjoy that breeze. The nice breeze here right now. Still got, still got a full battery pack. All five bars are still on the battery, so I'm good over there. Uh. So I'm getting used to the seat. I'm getting used to the baseball pants. The baseball pants seem to, either my legs have gotten bigger, or I've gotten a little taller, or the baseball pants have shrunk a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, I, I have to admit, my physique is more defined. My legs have gotten stronger, I can see that. They're, the quads are definitely bigger. There's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, as far as my other body parts, they're more defined. I wouldn't say they've gotten bigger, but they're definitely more defined. I'm hoping the creatine and just uh, my daily activity and not excessive weightlifting, but just just weightlifting will help increase my strength and uh, maybe maybe some mass. Although. I'm weighing myself and I'm losing weight, so either I'm not eating enough or I'm, I'm hopefully losing the fat and I'll keep the muscle. As far as strength, it's been a while since I've been to the gym. It's been a while since I've been to the gym. So I don't know if I've increased my strength. I'm a, my assumption is yes, because while I was going to the gym and lifting weights, I could do uh, reps at higher weights. So I'm assuming I have increased in strength. As far as mass, you know, you look at those 
people who are bodybuilders, obviously they're they're specifically training to get mass, and so are they athletic? Maybe not. You know, do they look big? Yes. Uh, are they taking steroids? Perhaps, maybe. You know, so having those expectations of a bodybuilder is not realistic for. Uh, you know, people who don't plan on being bodybuilders but want to be healthy and look healthy. That's if you ask me, though. You know, but what do I know? So, those kind of expectations, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I don't have those expectations. I do expect uh, some, some bulking and some growth, but. I'm not expecting to be a uh, Mr. Universe anytime soon. And again, uh, the older you get, you naturally lose muscle. So if I could just preserve what I have or build on it, that's that's great. Because if you look at bodybuilders, they, they lose, over time, they lose their muscle mass. All right, they, they, they're not like that forever. You know, your physique is only a... Uh, it's a very uh, shallow way to look at yourself or measure yourself. I mean, that's what, that's, your vanity is a very shallow way of measuring yourself is what I'm trying to say. You're, you're deeper than what you physically appear to look like or be like. And that includes being fashionable as well. That's just my opinion, but, uh, you know, everyone's entitled to their own. You know, if you want to buy a $100 uh, dress or a $100 pants, something that literally costs only five bucks uh, just because of a brand uh, whatever makes you feel good about yourself I think I've kind of I don't know if it's me, but my pants feel really tight. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, I'm still going to try to do a full round trip all the way. Take the bike path to Fry's. From Fry's to Memorial Park. Then, or actually Herman Park. And then into uh, downtown, I was going to go to the uh, Discovery Green Park. And then go through downtown, through Memorial, the Buffalo Bayou uh, uh, bike trail. And then from there, go to Memorial and then come back down, back to Fries and back home. Total, that's about 60 mile round trip. And so... 60 mile round trip uh, supposedly it will take 8 hours supposedly it will take 8 hours uh, so that's pretty much all day if I'm going to do it I should probably do it at the peak time relatively soon because uh, this is about the most sun we're going to get daylight time anytime now you're just gonna get less and less uh, daylight hours into your uh, into your day. So you know, I'll probably kick it off as soon as sun rises. Uh -oh. So start off as soon as the sun rises, and then. Uh, See what I can do. If I, if all I can do. I'm planning to have lunch at the Discovery Park at that restaurant. I forgot what it's called, but there's a restaurant there. It seems a little bit nice, high end. I wouldn't mind eating there. So just go out. Just go out and eat there. Uh, I'm gonna lower my gear. I'm still on pedal assist two, gear three now. Oh, I'm pushing it with my legs. I didn't do any biking yesterday or anything, so. Try to get my legs to recovery. I'm noticing now that when I ride my bike, my legs are getting sore. 
They're actually getting sore. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? My leg's sore? But yeah, so I'm giving a day of recovery. Okay, go down. Pedal assist five. Okay, or gear five. Pedal assist two, gear five. So riding with my child on the co-pilot is a different kind of resistance. I'm, I'm pulling more weight, obviously. Um, and uh, I don't know how the bike is handling. I kind of, I kind of heard the bike grinding a little bit, but I, I don't think that's anything abnormal. It, it just only does that. I don't, I, I don't know if that's vibration or if those are the planetary gears like giving out. Gotta make sure no one's trying to make a right turn on me here or a left turn coming from the other way. Oh, you want to play? I heard you. Jeez. I heard you. <laughs> I'm just a chauffeur and all this. There's the pool. It's not open today. It's a weekday. They uh, have certain days the pools are closed in different areas. On the weekends, they're all open. Okay. All right, playground coming up. Ooh. Okay, there's a shot of the playground. I'm gonna cut out and see y'all later.